Pueblo Nuevo, uh, they do not have access to electricity, um, at least in very minimal degrees that, that, they, that they do. Um, so we installed uh, 825 watts of electricity um, through solar energy um, to ensure that the, the local school has the ability to have lights, um, to provide um, warm lunches, um, to turn on blenders, um, various other things that they would not be able to do without the energy. When it comes to access to energy, it's very different up here in the rural areas and small towns up in the mountains versus the city. There's really no access to energy or electricity. And it's pretty amazing to see how well solar fits as an option or an opportunity to bring energy to remote communities. There are very few people on the planet that get the privilege to do projects like this. We see places in the world that nobody that you know will ever see. Um, and it is such an amazing experience, both from an eye-opening um, grounding of where we live and how we live versus other parts of the world. And there's just simply no other way to see it. Um, in this way that is natural and um, in the raw and it's amazing. It's a great way to learn in a small short period of time. You go from knowing nothing about wiring and cabling and solar to feeling really proud of the work that you do. There's really no greater reward than um, seeing the smiles on the faces of the communities that you work in and also making the Light of the World team proud and making their jobs easier by doing your job um, and being open and thoughtful and pushing yourselves harder and farther than you ever thought you could go. Um, there, there's truly no other experience in a lifetime that will match this. Um, I'm so appreciative for Light Up the World, the projects that we get to do and the way that it changes how we think about the world and energy.